Well, this right here is very interesting, actually. This is a case where we actually have a Talmudic Jewish lobbyist who is actually openly bragging about some of their nefarious schemes and tactics they like to use. In this case, he is actually uh, unknowingly boasting about the fact that essentially the Talmudic Jewish lobbyists can't be trusted outside of Israel to not be spies and double agents and overall just have dual loyalty. This is uh, on the Jerusalem Post. It says, uh, Jews will always have dual loyalty and should consider spying for Israel. If you're outside Israel, and then you live in a society in which you are basically considered unreliable, he said. Now, if you don't know who this Pollard, Pollard guy is, he's essentially, he was convicted, he was convicted for spying, uh, he was, it was in America, he was convicted for spying on behalf of Israel and giving all these classified documents to Israel from, uh, that was classified by the U.S. government. You know, because because essentially it benefited Israel to reveal these class this classified information to them. But it says here in the article, uh, Jonathan Pollard, the convicted spy for Israel, whose story haunt, uh, haunted the American Jewish community's relations with the U.S. government for decades, is unrepentant. Quote: He says the bottom line on this charge of dual loyalty is, I'm sorry, we're Jews, and if we're Jews, we will always have dual loyalty. Pollard said in an interview published Thursday by Israel Helm, his first extensive remarks since his release from prison in 2015. Plato admits it, and this goes back a long way, even back in the days of the early church, like uh, even when Jesus Christ was you know, walking the earth. Uh, you see examples of that, like in uh, Matthew chapter 26, where Judas, you know, betrayed him. So this kind of, this, this double, you know, double-minded, uh, backstabbing type of nature goes back a long way with their false religion. But it says here, uh, Polar rec uh, recalled how much of the Jewish leadership did not stand up for him following his 1985 arrest when he was a civilian analyst for the U.S. Navy who was found to be spying for Israel. Quote, if you're outside of Israel, then you live in a society in which you're basically considered unreliable, unquote, he said. Well, he is uh, going to go on to boast about that, but yeah, they are unreliable. You know, their, their false religion causes them to be unreliable, plain and simple, because, well, uh, Talmudic Judaism is of the devil, plain and simple. And they have the same kind of backstabbing, deceitful nature as the devil in John 8, 44, because the devil's behind false religion. But it says here, uh, Polar's arrest and eventual conviction uh, complicated ties between U.S. Jews and sectors of the government. Jews seeking entry into or advancement into national security apparatus were often rebuffed, with Polar cited as the reason. The Polar narrative, in part, drove the espionage charges brought in 2004 against two top staffers for the American Israel Public, Public Affairs Committee, a case that fell apart but drastically changed how, uh, how, J, how APAC sorry, operated. Polar suggested that Jews were deluding themselves if they thought of America as a home and suggested he would counsel a young U.S. Jew working in the U.S. security apparatus to spy for Israel. So essentially, he's saying that if you work for the government, then essentially stab them in the back and spy on behalf of Israel, and you know, essentially he's hinting at leaking classified information. Yeah, it's called being deceitful like your father the devil, who is a liar, you know, and the father of it. Uh, John 8, 44 talks about that. But you see how he's basically admitting they can't be trusted in these type of positions to not you know, leak classified information and not have dual loyalty, or, or in some cases, loyalty to the Jesuit labor Zionist state of Israel over, you know, the country they, they uh, work for. It says uh, here in the article, I tell him not doing anything is unacceptable. So simply going home to Israel is not acceptable. Making Aliyah is not acceptable, Polar said. You have to make a decision on whether your concern for Israel and loyalty to Israel and loyalty to your fellow Jews is more important than your life. Yeah, but at what cost though? It's at the cost of essentially infiltrating the governments of the nations you live in and stealing, you know, classified info and giving it to Israel on behalf of them at the detriment of the other nation. That's what I've always said, you know, this thing of, of being patriotic, you know. And by the way, too, uh, I would say that I have a dual loyalty only in the sense of my loyalty is to Jesus Christ, okay? I don't have loyalty to a nation like these guys would have. And also, uh, biblically speaking, in the New Testament, Christians are required to respect the authority of the king, or in this case, we have a prime minister. Uh, Titus, you know, the book of Titus talks about that. There's First Timothy has, or sorry, First and Second Timothy has verses on that. Uh, Romans 13 verses 1 to 7. 
as a, as a passage on that as well. So, you, you know, although I would say I have dual loyalty in the sense of, you know, I would respect the authority of my government, but my loyalty is to Jesus Christ. But it's not to a physical nation. I'm not gonna spy or that kind of stuff or give classified info. But you see, he's unknowingly admitting they can't be trusted in government. And that he's, he's essentially hinting at, encouraging them to infiltrate government and spy on behalf of Israel there. And by the way, too, when I, when I talk about Israel like this, just know that I support uh, actual physical racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land, and that's it. I don't support the false religion of Judaism. I don't support these Talmudic Jews or their lobby, many of whom are not even of you know ethnic Israel, many of whom are just you know uh, people from far and wide who converted to the false religion of Judaism and who adopted the subversive type of tactics that are pushed in this false religion. And this right here is more proof of that. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, just being deceitful like your father the devil. You can call me anti-Semitic all you want, but it's the truth of the matter. And the truth, you know, the truth is the truth no matter what you what, no matter what you, you feel or think. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.